Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Celiac disease and gluten sensitivity, symptoms, diagnosis, and gluten-free treatment. Now, celiac disease is an autoimmune inflammatory condition of the small intestine, and it's caused by a reaction to gliadin. Now, gliadin is a, is a polypeptide component of wheat, rye, barley, and also oat flour. And when you ingest it, it sort of uh, triggers this immune response and the immune cells and the whole re inflammatory response that's going on actually damages the cells that line the intestinal tract. And because those cells actually make many of the digestive enzymes that we need, and now you can't make those enzymes because the cells are destroyed, you can't absorb properly carbohydrates, proteins, and fat. So the result is the person starts losing weight and they have intestinal symptoms, diarrhea and other complaints. They also get a range of other symptoms from that are mild to severe. So the most common symptoms that a person has are is abdominal cramping and diarrhea. In a child, you'll see growth failure. They, 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 just, they fail to thrive. In an adult, they'll start losing weight. And then because of iron deficiency and protein deficiency, they end up with anemia. And other signs of nutrient deficiencies can occur and other symptoms as well. Now, to find out if you have celiac disease, right now there's a very simple blood test that you can undergo. So there's no excuse now for not being tested if you think you have some symptoms. And people who uh, come from families where one family member has celiac disease should be tested because celiac disease can be asymptomatic in a lot of people. So you should really go and be tested. And certain cultures actually, uh, for genetic reasons, are just more susceptible to the development of celiac disease. What's the treatment? The treatment is not to ingest gluten in the first place. So a gluten-free diet is really how you manage it. So you need to know what foods contain gluten and also what foods don't have gluten so you know, you know where the window is wide open for, for you to have a, a large variety of foods that are gluten-free. In my experience, I've also seen certain supplements help with celiac uh, management. A high-potency multivitamin, the right combination of essential fatty acids, a supplement with borage seed, flax seed, and fish oil, as well as a, a digestive enzyme supplement that also contains some prebiotics to improve the microflora, and taking L-glutamine, 500 milligrams twice a day. Together, all these nutrients, what they do is they help build healthier intestinal cells, they aid in digestion, they regulate the immune system in a way so there's going to be less inflammatory response, and help to suppress sort of local and systemic inflammation. So to really get the details on how to do this, on, how, on, on celiac disease and gluten sensitivity, I've explained it all in a research article that's available right here. It's called Celiac Disease and Gluten Sensitivity, a Commonly Underdiagnosed Condition of the Small Bowel. So click on the link below to download it right now. If you, if you have celiac disease or you suspect you have gluten sensitivity, it's in, there's information in that article you just absolutely have to have. Now remember that at machinohealth.com you'll see all my research review papers and other videos that I've shot, footage from my live seminars, other downloads and resources I've created, they're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research materials and teaching uh, notes have all the scientific references in them so you know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you really should make machinohealth.com an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.